What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And you know, we live in the day of the HD remaster, the HD port. Okay. We've had a lot of awesome stuff come out on Switch and PS4. Those are mainly the systems I'm focusing on. I'm not really thinking about Xbox, but certainly Xbox as well. But you got .hackgu last recode, you got Battle Garega, you got the game Paradise, Final Fantasy VII. I mean, there's a ton of them, but one game, okay? One game needs it more than any other game, all right? And that game, Crimson Clover. Now you might be saying to yourself, John, what is this Crimson Clover you're talking about? Well, if you've ever watched a video I've ever dropped on YouTube, odds are I've probably talked about Crimson Clover in that video. Like my life's work is to push somebody, whoever, to get this thing on Switch, PS4, any current gen console, that way other people can play it. Um, this is the best video game I've ever played in my life. Um, you know, never mind the fact that yes, it's a shoot 'em up, and yes, that is my favorite genre of video game. But I mean, hey, I like RPGs a lot too. This thing is just, it's a masterpiece. Uh, the graphics are solid. The gameplay is just on point. Oh my God. And then the music, the soundtrack, the OST is rocking. Um, so this thing originally released in 2011. Uh, the original Dojin version, this guy named uh, Yatsubane. So I guess that would be the development circle, Yatsubane. If you guys have any more information on this developer, you know, please let me know in the comment section or hit me up on social media. But um, from what I understand, this Yatsubane was just a one-man show. He, he developed this game all on his own, and it's just it's a masterpiece. Um, there was rumors and a, a talk online and online forums of him developing another game that was probably, I think it was like more in line with uh, like the Linus games or like those weird you know shooters like Ranger X, stuff like that. But anyway, he made this game Crimson Clover. It originally came out in 2011. It was a comic cat released. Uh, according to Wikipedia, it was the 79th comic cat. Um, there was a few previous builds before that comic cat release. Um, like there was a, the first build was one level, then there was one with three levels, and then you have uh, the version 1.0, which is the one that I have physically for the PC, which is the fi the first level, five levels. So the five levels of the of the game. And then the break and double break mechanic, which is really what makes the game. So that was the first, you know, solid build of Crimson Clover. And then in 2013 on Steam and GOG, they dropped Crimson Clover World Ignition. So although I do prefer the previous build, the footage that you're seeing on the screen right now, this is actually Crimson Clover World Ignition. Um, and actually, this is my physical copy of this game, although I already showed you earlier in the video. Um, this is just a game I'm really proud that I own. I really want to support this developer. And although I had to pay probably higher prices than what retail would be, um, you know, this game was like 60 bucks, you know, brand new. It's still sealed. I just, I'm crazy like that with this game. Won't open it, um, you know, unless a zombie apocalypse strikes. I can't get online and re-download it. Then I'll probably crack open the game. But until then... I would love to get a physical version of Crimson Clover World Ignition. Oh my God! Just the just the the gameplay, the graphics, the gameplay mechanics with the break and the double break mode. So the break and the double break, or the best way I can describe that, would be um, like Dead on Pachi, Diojo, or any of the Dead on Pachi games, Dead on Pachi Sai Diojo. Uh, the hypersystem mode, you know, the hypersystem mode that you go into, it's it's just break and double break. Although you go into, let's just say it was called hypersystem mode in Crimson Clover. You go into hypersystem mode, and then you fill up a meter to actually get into hypersystem mode. I don't know why I'm calling it hypersystem mode. Let's just call it what it is: it's break mode. So to get into break mode, you you shoot enemies, you fill up a meter, then you go into break. So then you got all these powered up shots. It's on a time meter. But if you fill up another meter while you're in break, you go into double break. And then the scoring just gets, it gets out of hand. It's crazy. Um, like you guys can see on the screen, man, this thing, like I said, it gets crazy. But this thing is mad fun. Um, this is a pretty hard game, even on the easiest settings. But it's definitely one that you can learn the bullet patterns to. And it's just, it's just, it's great. It is a blast. I cannot believe this thing never got ported to switch a ps4 like i am i crazy am i like the only one like i this is just the best game i've ever played in my life and hopefully hopefully the right person will stumble across this video and maybe the ball will get rolling in, in some capacity i would love to see that i would just i would love to play this thing on current gen gaming consoles guys but anyway crimson clover or crimson clover world ignition um you know hit me up on social media and i'll, I'll shoot you some download links now guys, it is time for the weekly vlog. Just touching base with everybody. Do you know how hard it was to say weekly vlog? I stumbled over my fucking lips 10 times before I was able to say that. Anyway, weekly vlog. In recent news, Atari VCS, well, 
I saw it on GameStop's website. They had a pre-order date of March the 21st. Now, there was two different models of the Atari VCS. There was a 400 model and an 800 model. The 400 model was 250 and the 800 model was 280. Uh, there was like a Primo bundle pack that had controllers and stuff, and that was a lot more, I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, the controllers, the wireless joystick controller was 50, and their version of the Pro controller was 60 now. For something that I would probably just use to run RetroArch, that seems kind of pricey. But if it runs RetroArch like the best I've ever seen it, maybe it's worth the 250 I don't know. I'm going to have to watch some YouTube videos. Maybe uh, Mad Little Pixel, he'll, he'll put a video out and he'll expose the VCS for what it is. It might be something good. I don't know. But, you know, March the 21st, thought that was pretty interesting. Saw it randomly up on GameStop's website. Haven't heard anyone on YouTube talk about it. Uh, I also just finished Tales of Vesperia. Now, it took me 92 hours to finish that game. A lot of times I got off work, turned the switch on, had the Pro Controller in my hand and fell asleep. I'm sure eight hours went by a couple of times. So I think the average person, according to what it says online, could probably beat the game in about 45, maybe 50, 55 hours, which is still quite a while. I'm a sucker for those JRPGs and the Tales of Love series is some of the best. I really like those action RPGs. Um, that's pretty much it. I busted the PSP Go out, just downloaded Gaia Seed. You know, you can play that on the PS3, the PSP Go, and the PS Vita. I actually have two PSPs. I got a regular PSP that's all hacked and modded, and it runs, you know, PSP ROMs, PS1, has emulators. Then I have a PSP Go that's, like, completely legit, squeaky clean. That's the one I link up to my PS3, and I use it that way. Anyways, I would love to know what you guys are doing this week as far as gaming goes. Um, you know, Psycho Shooting Stars Bravo came out today. Couldn't find it at any of my local shops, but I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. I came into a small little bit of money. Not a whole lot. I've been doing pretty good on eBay, and thank you for everyone that has bought stuff off my eBay store. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, the eBay thing, half the money towards the bills, the other half towards the games. Just sell off the stuff that I don't play anymore. Anyways, hit me up in the comment section or on social media. Until next time, guys. Peace out.